What's up everyone, Victoria Dorsano here, and today I'm gonna to share with you guys 10 of my favorite, favorite food items that I've been having to prioritize protein while I'm in a calorie deficit, slash losing weight, slash in a cutting phase. So I wanna talk a little bit about that today, but before I dive in, if you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel, I would greatly appreciate it. Okay, so as some of you guys know, I've been working on weight loss, which is weird for me to say because I've always kind of been in a maintain phase, at least for the past few years of my life. But if you've seen my previous few videos, I've talked a little bit about, you know, my recent weight loss journey, um, what I've kind of been doing to get there. But part of losing weight is, you know, staying in a calorie deficit. And no one really wants to feel hungry, right? Part of being in a calorie deficit, people are like, oh my gosh, I don't want to have to feel hungry. I totally get it. I don't want to feel hungry either because people get hangry. I don't get hangry. I just get kind of like lethargic and like not super energetic, which isn't really fun to be around either. But I've had to find some really good ways to, you know, continue to get protein and prioritize protein in my diet because if you have a good source of protein and continue to, to build that throughout your day, it helps you stay satisfied and it helps you stay feeling full throughout the day. So it's always a really, really important component of weight loss to try to prioritize protein. And I found, you know, over the course of, let's say this past like two months, um, I found 10 foods that have been just staples for me these past two months of um, going through this weight loss journey to prioritize protein to make sure i'm still feeling full but still being able to maintain a calorie deficit so i wanted to run through those food items today and i also want to note that you know whole food sources are great i'm talking about eggs and lean uh lean meats like poultry and pork um and lean turkey like whole sources of food and protein are great, right? But a lot of what I'm gonna be talking today about is like the convenient factor uh, foods, the things that you can get easily, some of them pre-made, pre-packaged. It's not good to have just that. I'm a huge fan of mixing convenience with whole foods, but not trying to swing all one way or all the other way. I think for busy individuals or athletes, you always have to have kind of a mix of those things because sometimes you just need the grab and go options, right? The things that are quick to get. Um, so a lot of the things I'm gonna run through today are more like the pre-made options. And by no means am I saying like, this is, should be your only diet if you're trying to prioritize protein. You should absolutely get whole food sources in your your day-to-day -day nutrition as well. These are just convenient options that you can turn to and just grab and make sure like as you're walking out the door, if you need an extra boost of protein to keep you full between meals, these can be really great sources of that. So the first one I wanna talk about is a snack that I recommend a lot to my clients that I love to have on hand um, from time to time, which is these um, roasted edamame beans. You can make them on your own. You can roast them in the oven. You can also get them pre-roasted, which can be easier depending on how much time you have available, right? So roasted edamame beans, you can get them on Amazon. I'll put the link down in the description below if you want to try ordering them. You can get them salted, flavored, unsalted. I usually go like lightly salted somewhere in the middle, um, but they're just really easy to grab, have a good source of protein, a quick and easy snack. It's already pre-packaged, easy to just carry with you out the door, um, but you're still feeling full from, from having the snack. It's really, really high in protein. So that's one of my favorite ones that I've really enjoyed incorporating is just these roasted edamame beans. The next one is kind of in the whole food group-ish. It's egg whites. Um, so, you know, I wouldn't consider it quite a whole food, I guess, because you're not having the egg yolk with it. Um, but in terms of just protein content and how much protein is packed in egg whites in itself without the additional calories coming from a fat source from the egg yolk, um, you can get a lot of protein in just egg whites. And you can get the egg whites in a carton already, which is super convenient to just pour into a skillet, scramble up some egg whites, um, you know, slice up some avocado or put some seasoning salt on it and you are good to go. You have a ton of protein there, right? So that's been a really easy one for me to incorporate as well and to utilize to just prioritize protein in my breakfast when I feel like having something outside of just a protein shake. This next food item is actually one that pairs really well with the egg whites for breakfast is sprouted bread. I prefer something called Ezekiel bread. I love it. It is, you know, great because you're getting your source of carbs and you're getting, you know, protein in the sprouted bread itself. 
Um, I can't remember the exact amount of protein per slice. I wanna say it's like five-ish grams maybe, um, but pretty good for a slice of bread, right? So it's really nice to pair with the egg whites because you're getting the carbohydrates, you're getting um, extra protein in there from the spread of bread itself. And then you're pairing it with egg whites, you're getting even more protein. So that's just kind of like an easy tactic to kind of pair those two things together. But by no means do you have to, you can just have the Ezekiel bread with like a smear of almond butter or peanut butter on it, or, you know, butter and jam or whatever you want to put on there. But it's just a nice thing. Like if you're going to have carbs to make sure that it's, it's a source that you're also going to get some protein with it. Um, as well. So that's been one of my favorite go-tos is having that Ezekiel bread or sprouted bread on hand. And I actually just keep it in the freezer so it doesn't go bad either. And it works out great. This next food item is probably one that people have strong, strong, very strong opinions about. And I'm on the camp of liking this food item. A lot of people don't necessarily like it. Um, tuna you know, canned tuna. Now I say with this one, like you're not gonna wanna have this every single day. It could be, you know, a few times a week, but you wanna limit how much tuna you're having, especially just because of the, the mercury factor of things. Um, but if you get something called skipjack tuna, um, there's naturally less mercury in that type of tuna. So it's a little safer to eat more regularly. Um, but I really like, I found these, these kind of take and grab and go containers of um, tuna called tuna infusion or chicken of the sea infusions, I forget. But I will link all these things down below. So it's really good though, cause it's mixed with like, they have like a Thai basil flavor. They have like a lemon and thyme flavor. They have a uh, like basil pesto flavor. So they kind of mix different seasonings in there with the tuna already. And they have a little kind of like cute little fork that goes inside there that you can just take out and eat right away. And the container itself has like 20 or 22 grams of protein. It's amazing. It's super filling. Um, that's been a really go-to snack for me to just prioritize protein as I'm, again, like in this process of losing weight and kind of cutting down. Um, and it's just been a really great way to stay full throughout the day. Okay, the next item, I don't know if it's really like a snack item. It's kind of like a meal, but it's a way to kind of boost your protein in a meal that you might already be having, which is just subbing your normal pasta for chickpea pasta. I'm a huge fan of chickpea pasta. I always get Bonza. There's other brands out there, but Bonza is just one I know and have had before and I know how it cooks and all that stuff. Um, but you know, you're getting, it, it's a great source of fiber, number one. And number two, you're getting the extra protein because it's it's from chickpeas or garbanzo beans or however you wanna say it. Um, but that's a great way to just kind of boost up your protein in your already existing pasta dishes by just swapping out the normal pasta for chickpea pasta. And a lot of people ask me like, is it gonna taste weird? Does it have a weird texture? Is it like slimy? No, this one tastes actually incredibly similar to normal pasta. Um, so. That's a great one. I've used that a lot these past few months and it just really helps me keep my protein intake up. The next item on my list is a protein shake. And in particular, I found a few that I like. I will link those down below. Um, Gainful and Orgain are two brands that I've really, really, really enjoyed. Um, and I've tried a lot of them. And again, I know, I'm just gonna say this again, I'm not recommending subbing these things and using protein shakes as a sub for an entire meal or you know anything like that. Um, I think it's a, it's a good supplement if you're prioritizing protein, um, especially if you're plant-based because the ones that I'm recommending are, are plant-based for the most part. Um, gainful, you can actually customize. I'll get into that in a second, but I think it's just a really great way to supplement and kind of boost your protein if you're focusing on weight loss or if you're focusing on, again, just changing your body composition in general. So Orgain is amazing. Um, you know, you can get that down in Amazon. I'll put the link down below and they have great flavors. I've tried multiple of their flavors or multitude of their flavors. And I've done the peanut butter ones. There's a chocolate peanut butter, there's vanilla, there's a whole bunch of ones. I think they even have like a horchata flavor, which amazing. Um, and then that's also plant-based or can be because they have an animal-based one too. And then the other one is called Gainful. And I switched from Orgain to Gainful because I was looking for something that was gonna have a little bit higher of a protein content, a little less like carbohydrate content in it for what my personal goals are. That might look different for you, but um, with Gainful, they give you a quiz and you kind of go through this quiz and um, it's pretty extensive, like even as far as like how many times you're working out, when 
when do you want to be drinking a protein shake? Um, what are your goals? Um, do you have any difficulty with like sleeping or digestion? It just was really in depth and I really appreciated that. And then it kind of creates a customized formula based on your answers and it ships to you at a frequency of your desire. So I think I have mine coming like every six weeks or something like that. What I like about Gainful is that not only is it personalized for you and your goals, but it's unflavored and it comes with flavor packets and I get a variety box of flavored packets so I can change up the flavor day to day. I have like, um, like a strawberry banana one. I did a green tea matcha flavor today. I did, um, just Madagascar vanilla the other day. Um, they have salted, uh, sea salt caramel. They have a bunch of different flavors and it's just really nice to be able to switch that up. So you're not getting tired of a certain flavor over and over and over again. So my gainful shakes have been something that I incorporate, you know, after workouts, um, especially just kind of like curb my hunger a little bit, make sure I'm getting that protein in. And it's just been a really great way to prioritize protein. And since we're talking about protein shakes, my next food item is actually something that I put into my protein shakes, but you can have it on your own too. Um, it's Ripple, which is a pea protein based milk or a pea milk. I hope I'm saying that right. It sounds weird. I know, but it's really good. <laughs> so it's a, uh, it's basically from peas and it has um, extra protein in it because of it. It doesn't taste weird at all. I'm not lying to you guys. I've had plenty of my clients try it. They're fans now. Um, it has a nice consistency that you can get vanilla, chocolate, all the different flavors, but I actually pour that into my protein shakes and boost up the protein even more. Or again, at the end of the night, if I'm feeling like a little snacky, but don't really want to have too much, I'll pour a glass of that. And I think for like an eight ounce glass, it's like eight grams of protein. It's pretty filling for me. So that's a really great option too, to have around and in, in like substitution for like oat milk or almond milk, which has considerably less protein in it. Um, so soy milk can also be a good option, but I'm a big fan of Ripple. I've just, I've come to love it. I've come to know it. So that's my recommendation. And since we're talking about drinks, another one that I really, really like and have been purchasing as well is called OWN or only what you need is what it stands for. It's an acronym, O-W-Y-N. And um, a client of mine actually was telling me about this and she has a lot of different food sensitivities and allergies to nuts and um, you know uh, gluten and a bunch of different things. And this particular brand has been very selective with their ingredients and they are like allergen free, gluten free, lactose free. They're all the freeze <laughs> and they're already pre-made in a bottle. Um, and you can just, you know, I usually will have like five of them in the fridge at any given point. And those are really great. like for when I'm being extra lazy and just do not have the time to even blend anything together. And I'm like running out the door, or I'm late for something or whatever it might be to grab one of those in lieu of like making my own protein shake or just a quick snack or something I can keep in my bag. Um, those have been really delicious. And I mean, I was so surprised at how well, like how good the taste was and how well it went down. Um, so I really recommend those own drinks too. They are a little bit pricier, um, but I think if you can, obviously buy them in bulk, it's, it's a little bit better, but those have been great to have as a resource to prioritize my protein as well. Okay. So this next food item is actually kind of a combination of two different protein sources that I like to put together, but I'm just going to mention them as like one general food item here. Siggy's Icelandic skier or Icelandic yogurt, um, is really great. It's high in protein, low in sugar. Um, another option is like 0% Greek yogurt, 0% fat Greek yogurt or 2% fat Greek yogurt, um, where you're going to get a lot of protein in that yogurt. I like skier for whatever reason, it doesn't seem to bother my stomach. I'm lactose intolerant and it doesn't seem to really bug me like Greek yogurt does, but that probably is more of an individual basis. So don't take my word for it. If you're lactose intolerant and then try the Siggy skier and then like, oh, that really messed my stomach up. It just works for me. Um, but that's a really great source of protein. And then what I do is I actually grab this other thing called Catalina Crunch. I grab their cereal. Um, it's like a protein based cereal and I will take a handful and put that on top and you're getting two great protein sources put together. Um, and it, it's a great snack or even if you make it big enough, could be a meal. But I usually have it as like a quick little snack. I'll take a few scoops of that yogurt, put the Catalina Crunch uh, cereal on top, and you know I'm upwards of like 20 something grams of protein in that snack. So that's another great, great like food item or couple of food items that I like to use to prioritize protein. 
And last but not least is my favorite no cow bars. Anybody who's been around me this past year has heard me say the word no cow. I say it a lot. I love no cow. Um, their bars are just really great. They don't bother my stomach at all. They don't have any dairy ingredients in them. I believe they're gluten free too. Yes, they are gluten free, I think. I'll double check on that. I'm pretty sure they're gluten-free because my gluten-free friend eats them too. Um, but the flavors are great. I love the birthday cake flavor. I love that they're not dipped in chocolate. Like their original bars are not covered in chocolate. So they travel well. You can leave them in the car. You can put them in your purse. They're not gonna like melt on you. Um, they're really high in protein. They're just like, always surprisingly filling. <laughs> like I'm always so surprised at how full I feel after eating these because these bars have about like 21 to 22 grams of protein in them. And um, I don't know, I've just been such a huge fan. So they have variety packs too, so you can try all different flavors. I'll put that link down below too if you're interested, but that's another one that I've used quite a bit to prioritize my protein. Sometimes I'll just cut it in half too and grab half of it to go, but just having something, especially if I'm feeling a little snacky, a little hungry, but I'm trying to be mindful of my caloric intake, that's been a great one to go to. So guys, those were my 10 food items that I absolutely love and have been just munching on these past two months like crazy because they've been a really great way for me to prioritize my protein while still focusing on my weight loss journey. And I'm really grateful that there's a lot of these are like super grab and go, super easy to incorporate on a day-to-day -day basis. I hope that you guys find that too. Maybe you learned some new ones that you haven't heard of before. Um, like I said, I will link the ones that I can down in the description below. And I hope it was helpful. I hope you guys found some great protein snackies, some different things that you can incorporate that will help you guys um, stay full and satisfied as well and uh, really prioritize that protein. So um, if you haven't yet, be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And until then, I will see you guys later. Bye.